my heart friends around the world. We'll be doing a mosaic technique this week, which should be lots of fun to work on. We are going to start with a magic ring and a chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. This counts as a double crochet and a chain two. Into the ring, we will place three double crochet, one, two, and three, chain two, and we'll do that a total of three times. So that's a three times and we will work one more, but this time we will just work two double crochet, omit the third double crochet and the chain two as that was our starting stitch. And I'm going to close up the magic ring a bit first. So I've used a double magic ring technique. You can see that in the introduction for the friends around the world crochet along if you're not familiar with that. After closing the magic ring, we're just going to slip stitch into the chain space to finish the foundation round, 12 stitches. Then for round one, we will chain three, single crochet in the same stitch, or in the same space, place a single crochet in each of the next three stitches. and then single crochet in the chain two space. Chain two, and then we'll single crochet in the space and repeat that around. Single crochet in each of the three stitches, single crochet in the space, chain two. So you can go ahead and work that around on the final repeat, you'll omit that chain two at the end of the repeat, and I'll meet you at that point. When we've worked our way around, we want to make a single crochet back in that same corner space where we joined last round. And we will slip stitch into the chain two to complete this side. 20 stitches. We'll turn to start round two, chain one, and then the slip stitch we just made, we're going to place a single crochet in that slip stitch. Then we'll single crochet in each of the five single crochet, two, three, four, and five single crochet In the corner, we'll place a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And we'll repeat that three more times with the five single crochet, single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the corner. Omitting the last single crochet on the final repeat, and I'll meet you at that point. Work my five single crochet down the side and I'll place my first single crochet in the corner, chain two. Then we can join to our starting single crochet, but we want to insert the hook from the front to the back to work this slip stitch. And then turn. So you should have 28 stitches for this round. Round three, we will slip stitch into that chain space and chain three. Single crochet in that same space, chain three. 
we're going to skip two stitches, single crochet in the next three, one, two, and three, chain three, skip those last two stitches, single crochet in the chain space, the corner, chain two. So we'll work that one more time together, single crochet in the corner, chain three, skip two, single crochet in three, chain three, skip two, single crochet in that corner space. So you can finish that two more times and I'll meet you at the final. So on the final side, I've done my last chain three, we will skip those last two stitches, place a single crochet in that corner space, and then slip stitch into that chain three space, and slip stitch loosely. Turn, 20 stitches this round. So round four, we want to chain one, and single crochet in that first slip stitch. And in the next stitch, chain three, we'll skip the chain space, single crochet in the three single crochet, chain three, skip the chain space, single crochet in that final stitch, And then in the corner space, we'll work single crochet, chain two, single crochet, and we'll continue down the side with a single crochet, chain three, skip this chain space, and so on. So you will work that around until you get on the final side. We'll omit the final single crochet and I'll join you at that spot. So on my final side, I've done the single crochet just after that last chain three. We want to place the corner single crochet in the chain space, chain two, and slip stitch in that first single crochet, inserting the hook from the front to the back. And we can fasten off. 28 stitches. Round five, we're going to use our main color. We're starting with the right side facing in any of these corner chain two spaces. We'll start with a slip stitch and chain three. We'll place a single crochet in that same space and in each of these first two stitches. Then we're going to work a double crochet three rounds below into these two skip stitches. We want to work in front of the chain. So I insert my hook in that first skip stitch and sort of pull it forward a bit. So I'm in front of the chains to finish the double crochet. And I'll do that again. Double crochet three rounds below. We'll chain four and skip the three single crochet, work two more of those double crochet three rounds below in front of those chain three spaces, or in, those, in front of the chains. Single crochet in these last two stitches, single crochet in the corner space, chain two. Then we're ready to repeat that again, starting with that single crochet in the same space, single crochet in the first two, and then working those two double crochet three rounds below, and so on. So you can work that around the sides. I'll join you just before the end of the last side. So I'm on the last side. I've done those two double crochet three rounds below. We want to single crochet in these last two stitches single crochet in the corner space. We do not work the chain two. We will slip stitch into that chain space to complete this round. 
40 stitches. Round six, we will turn and work from the wrong side again. We will make chain one. We're gonna skip that slip stitch this time and work single crochet in the next five stitches. So that's in the top of the three single crochet. Then we're also going to single crochet in the top of those double crochet that we worked. So five single crochet chain four, skip the chain space, then starting in those double crochets with single crochet in the next five again. Three, four, and five. We will chain two. We're going to skip the corner space and work single crochet in five stitches. Remembering to work into those double crochet as well. And so on, we'll continue that around. And again, I'll join you just at the end of the round. On the last repeat there, I've worked those final five single crochet plus my chain two. And then we will just slip stitch into our first single crochet. So we want to insert our hook from the front to the back to make this final slip stitch. And then we will turn 40 stitches on this round. And we'll drop the main color. Starting round seven, we're going to slip stitch into the chain space, but we will use color one to do that slip stitch and chain three. I'm just going to tighten up my main color just a bit now that I've done the chain. Single crochet in the same stitch. We're in the same space rather. Chain three. We're going to skip two stitches and single crochet in the next three. Then we will work three double crochet in those skipped stitches, three rounds below, pulling the stitch in front of the chains so the double crochet are worked in front. One, two, and three double crochet, three rounds below. Single crochet in the next three stitches, two and three, chain three, skip two stitches, and then we are ready to single crochet in the chain two space. chain two and ready to repeat that around. So single crochet in that same space, chain three, skip two, single crochet in those three single crochet, make the three double crochet three rounds below, one, two, and three, Single crochet in those next three stitches, chain three, skip two, single crochet in the chain space, chain two, and repeat. So you can finish up the other two sides and I'll meet you just at the end of this round. So we skip these last two stitches, make a single crochet in that last space, and slip stitch loosely into that chain three space. And we will turn 
44 stitches this round. So round eight, working on the wrong side, we will chain one and single crochet in that slip stitch. Single crochet in the next stitch, chain three, skip the chain space, single crochet in nine, two, three. These next three are those double crochet. So work a single crochet in those. Six, that's seven, eight, and nine single crochet, chain three, Skip the chain space, single crochet in that next stitch. And then work at single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the corner space. I'm ready to start down the side, single crochet, chain three, and then those nine single crochet and so on. So you can continue to work that all the way around. I'll meet you again just at our starting sp spot. So when we've reached our final side, we'll want to place that single crochet in the corner space, chain two, but we won't work that final single crochet. Instead, we will join from the back to the front in the first single crochet of the round. To finish round eight, turning to the front, 52 stitches. So we will drop our color one and pick up main color again. We'll slip stitch into this chain space. Try not to pull too tight so that the main color just lays across the back of our work. Chain three. Then we'll start with a single crochet in that corner space in each of the next two stitches. And we'll work two double crochet down on those skip stitches three rounds below. One and two. Chain three. We'll skip two stitches, single crochet in the next, chain two, skip one, repeat that, single crochet in the next, chain two, skip one, then we'll single crochet in the next, chain three again, skip two and work those two double crochet down three rounds below single crochet in the last two stitches single crochet in the corner chain two and then ready to start again with that single crochet in the corner and so on so you can go ahead, repeat that around the remaining three sides. And again, I'll join you just before the end of this round. So at the end of the final side, we'll place that single crochet in that corner space, omitting to the chain two and joining with a slip stitch to that starting chain space. Should be 52 stitches. Round 10, we will start with the wrong side facing again chain one we're going to skip that slip stitch and work a single crochet in each of the five single crochets so that's two three and then these next two are on top of the double crochet so four and five chain three skip the chains single crochet in the single crochet chain two skip the chain single crochet chain two, skip the chain, single crochet, chain three, skip the chain, single crochet in the next five. So that's two, three, four, and five. Chain two, we'll skip that corner chain space and ready to start in the next single crochet with single crochet in five and so on down the next side. So you can go ahead, repeat that around. I'll meet you just before we end the round. 
So as we complete the final side, we'll do that last chain two and join it to that starting slip stitch, inserting the hook from the back to the front to slip stitch, turn our work. 52 stitches. Round 11, working on the right side, we are going to slip stitch into that chain space, picking up color one again. Chain three, single crochet in the same space. Chain three, skip two stitches, single crochet in the next three. And we'll work those two double crochet down on the three rounds in those skipped stitches. So three rounds down, the double crochet in the skipped stitches. We'll single crochet in the next and double crochet in the next to skip stitch. And repeat that, single crochet in the next, double crochet in the next. And single crochet in that next. Then we're ready for the two double crochet down on those skipped stitches. single crochet in the next, sorry, three single crochet, that's a one, two, and three, chain three, skip those last two stitches, single crochet in the chain two space, chain two, and ready to begin again with a single crochet in the space, chain three, skipping those first two stitches, single crochet in three and so on. So you can continue this around the next three sides and I'll meet you just before our join at the end of the round. So finishing up my final side, I've chained three, skipped those last two stitches. We'll place that single crochet in that corner space and then slip stitch to the starting stitch to complete this round. Sixty-eight stitches. Round twelve, working on the wrong side. We will chain one. We want to single crochet in that slip stitch that we made at the end of last round. Place a single crochet in the next stitch. Chain three. Skip the chain space. And then we'll single crochet in all of the next 15 stitches. It's three, four, 13, 14, and 15 single crochet. Chain three, skip the chain space, single crochet in that last stitch, and then work the corner, single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So we'll repeat that around three more times and I'll meet you at the end of this round. So finishing up my last side, I've done the single crochet in the last stitch. I'll start the corner with the single crochet chain two, but we won't do the next single crochet as that was our starting single crochet. So inserting the hook from from the back to the front to do our final slip stitch <clears throat> to fasten off, or not to fasten off, to finish the round. 76 stitches. Round 13, working on the right side again, we will slip stitch into that corner space, picking up the main color as we do that. Chain three, single crochet in the same space. Single crochet in the first two stitches. 
And then we'll work two double crochet in those skipped stitches. Chain three, skip two stitches, single crochet, chain two, skip a stitch, single crochet, chain three, skip two stitches, single crochet, and we'll do that once more, chain three, skip two stitches, single crochet, chain two, skip one, single crochet in the next, chain three, skip two, double crochet in each of those next two skipped stitches. Single crochet in the last two stitches, and then in the corner, single crochet, chain two, and ready to start again with that single crochet in the next. So you can go ahead and work that all the way around the other three sides, but again I'll meet you at the end of the round. So finishing up the last side, we will place the single crochet in the space and then slip stitch into the chain space, remembering not to make that slip stitch too tight as we'll work into it. 60 stitches. Round 14, turning our work so we're on the back side again. Chain one, skip the first stitch. Oh, we'll skip that slip stitch this time through. And we will work single crochet in those five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five, chain three, skip the chain space, single crochet, chain two, skip the space, single crochet, chain three, skip the space, single crochet, and repeat, chain three, skip the space, single crochet, chain two, skip the space, single crochet, chain three, skip the space, single crochet in five, two, three, four, and five, chain two, and we will skip the corner space, starting with those five single crochet on the next side. So again, you can go ahead, work that around, and I'll meet you at the end of the round. So as we're finishing up this final side here, we will do the chain two, skip the corner space, and now we want to insert our hook, oops, from the back to the front in that first single crochet. There it is. And turn our work. So it should be 60 stitches. Round 15, working from the right side again. We will slip stitch into this corner space, picking up color one, and tightening up on that slip stitch. Chain three, single crochet in the same space. Chain four, skipping three stitches, we'll single crochet in the next two, and work the double crochet in both of those skipped stitches. Single crochet in the next stitch, Double crochet in that next skip stitch. 
single crochet in the next stitch, double crochet in the next two skipped stitches, and then we'll chain two and skip the single crochet and then reverse. So we will do the two double crochet in those skipped stitches, single crochet in the stitch, double crochet in the skipped stitch, single crochet in the stitch, double crochet in the two skipped stitches, single crochet in the next two stitches, chain four, skip those last three single crochet, single crochet in the corner, chain two space, chain two, and then ready to repeat that starting with another single crochet in the space and so on. So you can work your way around and I'll meet you just at the end of this round. On the final side, I did that last chain four, skip three, single crochet in the space. And this time we will slip stitch into the chain space and not make the chain two as our other sides. 80 stitches. Round 16, we'll turn. To work on the wrong side again, chain one, we'll single crochet in that slip stitch and in the next stitch. Chain four, skip the space, single crochet in nine. That's two, three, four. eight and nine, chain two, skip the space, single crochet and nine. So being careful, these first two are those double crochet. Make sure we don't miss those. So that's two, three, chain four, after those nine single crochet, skip the space, single crochet in that last stitch, then ready to work the corner with the single crochet, chain two, single crochet, and repeat starting with that first single crochet and so on. So you can go ahead and finish that all the way around. And I'll meet you just at the end of this round. So on the last side, we single crochet in the last stitch, place a single crochet in the corner chain two, make our chain two, and omit that last single crochet. Insert hook from the back to the front to join to the first single crochet of this round. Eighty-eight stitches. Round 17 from the right side, and we're going to slip stitch into the chain space, picking up the main color as we do that. And then I just like to tighten up color one, chain three, single crochet in that same space, chain three, skip these first two chains, and we'll work three double crochet in those skipped stitches. One, two, and three. Chain three, skip two, single crochet, chain two, skip one, single crochet, chain three, 
skip two, two single crochet, and a double crochet down on that skipped stitch, and single crochet in the next two. Chain three, skip two, single crochet, chain two, skip one, single crochet, chain three, skip two, and then ready to work those three double crochet, oops, one, two, and three, chain three, skip those last two single crochet and then in the corner chain two space we will single crochet, chain two, I'm ready to start again with that second single crochet in the space and so on. So again work your way around with that and I'll meet you at the joining. I've done my last chain three, skipping those two single crochet at the end of the side, single crochet in this space, slip stitch loosely into that chain space. To finish this round, 68 stitches. Round 18, working from the wrong side again. We will chain one, we're going to skip that slip stitch, single crochet in the next stitch. Chain three, skip the chain space, single crochet in three, chain three, skip the space, single crochet, chain two, skip the space, single crochet, chain three, skip the space, single crochet in five, two, three, four, and five, chain three, skip the space, single crochet, chain two, skip the space, single crochet, chain three, skip the space, single crochet in three, chain three, skip the space, single crochet in that last stitch, chain two, we're going to skip the corner chain space and ready to start again with a single crochet in that first stitch. So you can repeat that around and again I'll meet you just before the join. On the last side I've done the last single crochet, chain two, we will then join to our starting single crochet from back to front. Sixty eight stitches. Round nineteen will slip stitch into that chain space, changing to color one, chain three, single crochet in the same space, chain two. Oops, there we go. We'll skip that first stitch and then work two double crochet in those skipped stitches. One and two. Chain four. Skip the three stitches and double crochet in 
those two skipped stitches. Single crochet. Double crochet down in the skipped stitch. Single crochet. Two doubles down in that skip stitch. Or those two doubles down in each of those skip stitches. Chain three. Skip two stitches. Single crochet. Chain three. Skip two stitches. Double crochet in the two skip stitches down three rows. Single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, and two doubles. Chain four, skip the three stitches, and double crochet in those last two skipped stitches of this side. Chain two, skip the last stitch, single crochet in the chain two space, chain two, ready to start again with the single crochet in that same space. Okay, so again, you can work your way around and I'll meet you at the end of the fourth side. So finishing up the last side, I have placed that single crochet in the corner space and then we want to slip stitch into the chain space. 84 stitches. Round 20, working the wrong side, we will chain one and single crochet in the slip stitch. And single crochet in the single crochet. Chain two, skip the chain space, single crochet in two. Chain four, Skip the chain space, single crochet in seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, chain three. Skip the chain space, single crochet. Chain three, skip the space, single crochet in seven, one, two, three, six, and seven, chain four, skip the space, single crochet in three, sorry, single crochet in two, chain two, skip the space, single crochet in that last stitch, Oops, I split my yarn there, There we go. So single crochet in that last stitch, single crochet in the corner, chain two, make a chain two and single crochet back in that corner space. Ready to work that around the other sides and I'll meet you at the end of this round. So finishing up the last side, I've placed the corner, single crochet, made my chain two, then we'll slip stitch to our starting single crochet from the back to the front to finish this round. We're also going to finish off this color. 92 stitches. As we turn to start round 21, we will slip stitch in that chain space using the main color and then just tightening up the color one. Chain three, 
single crochet in the same space and single crochet in those next two stitches and double crochet down on that skip stitch single crochet in the next two and then double crochet in those three skipped stitches one two and three single crochet in the next seven one two three four five six and seven double crochet in these two skipped stitches chain two skip one then work those two double crochet and single crochet in the next seven two three double crochet in those three skip stitches single crochet in two Double crochet in that skip stitch, single crochet in those last two single crochet, single crochet in the corner, chain two, and then ready to work the next side starting with the single crochet in that same corner space. So you can go ahead, work that around. I'll meet you just before our join. So as you finish up the final side, you'll do that single crochet in the corner space and then slip stitch into the chain space, 144 stitches. Round 22, we'll start with the chain one. We'll skip the slip stitch and single crochet in 18. That's three. 17 and 18, chain two, skip the space, and single crochet in 18. One, two, seventeen and 18 single crochet chain two skip the corner chain and start the next side with 18 single crochet and so on so you can go ahead repeat that all the way around and i'll meet you at the end of this round so as we finish the last side we will do our chain two slip stitch to our starting single crochet but entering from the back to the front there we go To join and then we'll fasten off. 144 stitches. Round 23 we're going to take color two and working on the right side we'll start with a standing single crochet in the last single crochet of any side before the chain two corners. If you wish you can start with a slip stitch chain one and then make your single crochet. We're going to work over top of round 22 and into the chain two corner of round 21, placing a double crochet in that corner. So around both of those chain twos. One double crochet, chain two, and place one more double crochet in that same corner stitch of round 21. <clears throat> We're going to make a single crochet in each of the first 16 
stitches. So that's two, three, 15, and 16 single crochet. Skipping those next two single crochet, we're going to place a treble crochet in the skipped round, skip stitch three rounds below. And then we'll work three half double crochet in this space here. So enclosing both of the chain spaces from the last two rounds, we will work three half double crochet. And then that treble down in that skipped stitch, that same stitch as our first treble. And we'll skip two stitches and then work the 16 single crochet down the side. That's two, three, 15, and 16 single crochet. which should bring us to our next corner where we'll work that double crochet around both of the chain two corners. So the double crochet, chain two, double crochet in the corner of round 21, working over round 22. Ready to start our 16 single crochet down the next side and so on. So you can go ahead working that all the way around We'll knit the final single crochet. So we join to a, th a slip stitch to our starting single crochet. If you're comfortable joining with the needle join on this last stitch, that will be a nicer finish for next round as we're working back post stitches. You can fasten off that color. 156 stitches. Round 24, our final round for this square. Using color one, I'm using a slightly darker shade of my color one. We are going to start with a standing front post half double crochet around the first double crochet of any corner. So we'll yarn over. So the first double crochet of the corner, insert from the front around the back of the post of the stitch, back out to the front. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through all three loops for a front post half double crochet. We'll work a half double crochet in the corner space, chain two, and a second half double crochet in that corner, followed by a front post half around that next double crochet. And down the side, we're going to work 16 back post half double crochets. So enter from the back, around the front, back out to the back to pull up your loop and pull through all three. One, two, three, And 16 back post half double crochet. Then we'll work a front post half double crochet around the treble, back post half around the next stitch. And we'll repeat that two more times front post half around the next, back post half around the next. And once more, front post half around that next stitch, back post half around the next. Then we'll work a back post half double crochet around each of the remaining 15 stitches of this side. So 15 back post half double crochet will take you just to before that double crochet of the corner where we will work that front post half double crochet followed by the half double in the corner, chain two, half double crochet and work a front post half around the last for that next double crochet and then ready to start the 16 back post half down the next side. 
to continue to work that all the way around. In the last repeat, we will omit the front post half double crochet since we started with that. So when you've completed the round, you'll join to that starting front post half double crochet with either slip stitch or the needle join for a nice finish. Should be 164 stitches for this round. And that completes this week's square. Enjoy!